Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to find out the cross rate when we are dealing with bid ask quotations. Um, before we do that, let us first of all define what is cross rate. Cross rate, my friends, is simply the implied exchange rate between two currencies when both of them are quoted in terms of a common third currency. So if you look at these two quotations here now, you are going to realize that yens are quoted in terms of dollars here and pounds here are also quoted in terms of dollars. So we have two currencies, yens and pounds, both of which have been quoted in terms of a common third currency that is the um, US dollar. So these uh, two quotations, my friends, then can be easily used to find out the cross rate between yens and pounds. Let us get familiar with these two quotations first. Let us look at the quotation between dollars and yens. I am going to look at the first number here, 0 0.0104, and this, my friends, is the bid rate for yens. The second number, 0 0.0108, is the ask rate for yens and you will probably remember the distinction between the bid rate and the ask rate. The bid rate is the price at which the foreign exchange dealer is willing to buy foreign currency from you and the ask rate is the rate at which the foreign exchange dealer is willing to sell the foreign currency to you. Likewise, 1.5670, this number here in the second quote is the bid rate for pounds. That means if you have some pounds to sell, you are going to get $1.5670 in return and the ask rate is $1.5675 to a pound indicating that if you want to um, buy a pound then you have to spend $1.5675 um, for a pound. Now uh, let us use these two quotations to find out the cross rate between yens and pounds. It is possible to do that because both of them are quoted in terms of a common third currency and simply the third currency that is the common one can be cancelled out to leave us with a quote between yens and pounds. First of all we are going to find the bid rate between yens and pounds and the task is going to be really simple because our sole objective is to cancel out the US dollars and so that we are left with only yens and pounds. So let us uh, start writing on the right hand side of this equation. What I'm going to write in the first fraction is the quote between yens and dollars. So let me write here yens in the numerator and dollars in the denominator. Since I want to now cancel out the dollar, I must write a dollar sign here and in the denominator I should write down pounds. So when we carry out this calculation, this dollar is going to cancel out with this dollar sign, leaving us with a bid rate between yens and pounds. So now in order to carry on with this computation, what I need is a bid rate between yens and dollars. Now uh, let me look at my quotations and see if I have the bid rate between yens and dollars. When I look at this quotation, my friends, I realize that this has been quoted in terms of dollars to a yen and the bid rate is 0 0.0104. But I don't need uh, my quotation in this format. I need it in terms of yens per dollar. So our task is going to be still very simple. What we are going to do is we are going to take the reciprocal of the ask rate in this quote here and that is going to be our bid rate in this format. So let us do that. Let us write here the reciprocal of the ask rate from the original quote. So I'm writing here 1 and in the denominator I am writing 0 0.0108. So the reciprocal of the ask rate from the original quotation becomes our bid rate in this format that is yens to a dollar. Now I need to multiply this with the bid rate between dollars and pounds and let us go to our second quote to see if that is available. Now if I look at this quotation here, I realize that it is already in the format that I need. I need it in the format of dollars to a pound and it is available to me in terms of dollars to a pound where this number um, here is going to be my bid rate. So I'm going to simply write here 1.5670. And when I'm going to carry out this calculation, this is going to give me a number which is equal to 145.0926. And since dollars have cancelled out, what I'm left with is a quote between yens per pound. So let me write that here. 
145.0926 yens per pound. So that was then pretty simple. Now some people might um, wonder why did we start writing our uh, right hand side here like this. Instead some people might argue then why, wh that why don't we write dollars here first and then write a yen here and then since we want to cancel out the dollar why not write a pound here and why not write a dollar here well let us see what happens if you do this now I want my quotation in terms of uh, dollars to a yen and if I look at this one here I see that the bid rate between dollars and yens is 0 0.0104 so instead of writing this item here if I write here 0 0.0104 and in the denominator let me write a 1 because I want to uh, keep the number as 0 0.0104. So what I have written here now is the bid rate between dollars and yens here which is 0 0.0104 here and then if I multiply this with the bid rate between pounds and dollars now I will have to go to this um, quotation here and I will realize that this quotation in, is in terms of dollars per pound whereas I need it in terms of pounds per dollar. So since I am needing a bid rate between pounds and dollars I can pick up this ask rate from the original quotation and take the reciprocal of that. So let me write down the reciprocal of that here quickly. Uh, I am going to write the reciprocal of the ask rate between dollars and pounds so I am writing 1 over 1.5675 and now if I carry out this calculation what I'm going to find here is, uh, let us see what number do I get. I'm going to get 0 0.0066 and let us see what is this 0 0.0066. Now we have cancelled out this dollar with this dollar and what we are left with is a bid rate between pounds per yen. So I will have to write here pounds per yen and you might wonder what is wrong uh, in writing this quotation as 0 0.0066 uh, pounds per yen, um, you might argue that if we take a reciprocal of this thing, it will return to you the same quotation in the format of yens per pound. But my friends, when you are dealing with bid ask quotations, this is not going to be so. Because if you take the reciprocal of the bid rate here, what you are going to get is going to be the ask rate between um, um, yens and pounds not the bid rate between yens and pounds. So this method cannot work. So what you need to do is right in the beginning you have to write down this equation here this one here you have to specify it carefully so that when you cancel out the dollars they should leave you with yens per pound not pounds per yen. Um, so now let us return back to our um, um, cross rate calculation and this time we are going to do it for the ask rate between yens and pounds which we have already um, solved here actually because if you take the reciprocal of this thing what you are going to get is the ask rate between yens and pounds which is going to be uh, 150.7212. Let us uh, verify this through our calculation. Now I want to find out the ask rate between yens and pounds. So I have to take care that I specify this fraction and this fraction carefully so that when the dollars cancel out I am left with yens per pound. So what I am going to do here is now I am going to write a dollar here and I am going to write a yen here and um, uh, I should actually do it the other way around. I should write a yen here um, and a dollar at this place and then since I want to cancel out my dollar I should write down a dollar here and I should write a pound here so that when the dollars cancel out I am going to be left with yens per pound. Now our task is going to be pretty simple. Uh, I am going to look for this quotation here yens per dollar and I am going to look for the ask rate in terms of yens per dollar which is not available to me because the quotation uh, this one here is in the format of dollars to a yen but I can very easily take the reciprocal of the bid rate and that is going to become my ask rate in terms of yens per dollar. So let me write the reciprocal of the bid rate from the original quotation that is 1 over um, 0 0.0104 and then let me quickly multiply it with the ask rate between dollars to a pound which is readily available to me here. 
so let me write here 1.5675 um, and when I carry out this calculation I am going to get the same number as I got before 150.7212 yens per pound. So that is how simple it is going to be to find out the cross rate between currencies when we are dealing with bid and ask quotations. Thank you very much my friends for watching. Bye bye.